My fellow graduates, we made it. It's been a crazy trip that's been both way too long and way too short at the same time, but I am so blessed to have been on it with all of you. It's an honor to be in front of all of you today. You know, it's always fun to be told that you have about a day to write a speech for thousands of people, especially when you're a math major. So um, I've resorted to sticking to some of my strengths, and I've done some math for you today. So I now present to you Benedictine by the Numbers. We stepped onto campus four years ago. Since then, we've spent 560 days in classes, or at least we were supposed to. <laughs> if you walked up the Raven Walk just once on each of those days, we each have walked up a total of 31,920 steps. That's a total of about 40 miles on the Raven Walk, uphill alone. And someone told us we had a fitness problem. <laughs> have survived three horrific room draws, the catastrophic blackboard crash of 2012, <laughs> and 32 days of finals. That's over a month's worth of solid stress. We each have spent a total of $134,820 in tuition. And we managed to spell the name of our college wrong three times on the same t-shirt. <laughs> but in the same four years, our class has helped send 25 total buses to Washington, D.C. for the March for Life. That's about 1,400 students that have walked in Washington, D.C. We've each... We've each been greeted by Lynn in the calf about a thousand times, and it only took her about three days to learn our names. We celebrated, you guys can clap. We celebrated four wonderful snow days with mattress sledding, snowball fights, and larger than life snowmen. We've been a part of over 50 mission trips around the world and have been present at around 6,730 masses on campus. Our class has helped lead Benedictine to eight conference titles in our four years here. With the constant support of the 407 students that are sitting here in this room today, those same 407 students have come together in solidarity in insisting that the proper name of the building next door is the CAF. <laughs> because we are a class that has been taught to value tradition. <laughs> but seriously, we have learned so much in our four years and have become totally different people than we were freshman year. There are so many people who have been a huge part of our journey. I'd like to say a big thank you to my parents, my brothers, Paul and Scott, and my twin sister, Kara, who's out here today, but was gracious enough to get a few A minuses so that I could have the spotlight today. <laughs> Even though she probably deserves this more. I'd like to thank the professors I've had here who have always pushed me outside my comfort zone and were willing to answer questions even when the majority of the answers could be found in the syllabus. <laughs> you all, along with the monks of St. Benedict's Abbey and the sisters of Mount St. Scholastica, have been such wonderful role models for all of us and have offered so much support as we discern God's will for us. So thank you. I have been surrounded by all of you, my classmates, throughout my four years at Benedictine, 
and have wonderful memories with so many of you. But I'd like to specifically thank my roommates, Annie, Camille, and Liz, and my good friends, Paula Egging and Aaron, for always being there for me. And a special shout out to everyone who's asked me for a shout out. That's you guys. I also had the special privilege of working with the most wonderful group of eighth graders this last semester, and I learned more from them than they could have possibly learned from me. So I asked them to write down some advice for the class of 2015. So, from the eighth graders at Atchison Middle School, here's some final advice to take to heart as you go out into the world. First, smile. You're getting a job to help people in this world, so make sure you don't mess around. <laughs> Do something that nurtures your soul. You don't fail unless you quit. Eat your veggies, do jumping jacks, and always wear clean socks. <laughs> Remember, you are a star. And last but not least, class of 2015, be amazing. Thank you.